Okay, hi everybody. This is Terry. Everybody knows me. I'm getting ready to do a trip from Florida to Maine. I have three cameras that I'll be taking with me. They're all Sony. I just switched from uh, Sony from my Canon gear, which I still have, but uh, I'm going to soon get rid of that. Um, I'm not a videographer, so I'm just learning this stuff, so bear with me a little bit here. I just did a couple videos here, one I had to do in one format and another, and now I'm trying 4K and hopefully this works. I want to show you a couple things. First off, the camera that I'm shooting on right now is an A7S II, or A7 II. Um, my other camera that I carry is the A7R II. Hang on a minute, I've got to get it. Okay. Uh, Back at it. This is a one-man operation here. So the A7R2. This is a 42 megapixel camera. Want to get an A7R4, but that's down the road. This will have to do. The other camera I have is the A9, and that shoots 20 frames per second in a burst mode. So for getting wildlife, birds, etc you can freeze them and I just talked with or, or got an email back from Mark Smith who's a wildlife photographer really good good his stuff is awesome and I'm gonna try to learn from some of the things that he has on uh, his YouTube channel and I don't think I'll get as good as him but I'll try and so what I'm going to do I'm gonna travel to Maine take the car up there I got my Subaru and you gotta have a Subaru to do that sort of thing. And I'll show you a couple things. Uh, I showed you my two cameras here: that the A9, the A7R2, uh, and the A7 II. Three different cameras. Uh, the 9 and the 7 II shoot in 24 uh, megapixels, and then my 7R2 shoots at 42, high resolution, um, and that'll be good enough for now. So, I've got a wireless mic system here that I've got, and um, I'm going to zoom out, zoom in a little bit here. Again, one man operation. Over here, I have my 600 to, or 200 to 600 gimbaled, or lens on a gimbal here. The gimbal works like so. Able to turn it, go around. It's got a hydraulic setting in here so you can turn it very smoothly, um, lock it in place. And then I have my old navy vest here I'll show you. This is back from my navy days and hopefully we can see it. You can see my name on there and a photographer back in 1972 had my name also on the back. We wore this on the flight deck on the Ticonderoga when we recovered the astronauts from Apollo 16 and 17. Um, so that's going to be my trip. And hopefully I'll get a little bit better with this as I go. And uh, that's it for now. Um, it's pretty awesome stuff these, that you can do these days. What I'm doing, I'm looking at my phone, trying to compose at the same time. And I think I'll get better at this as I go. And that's it.